Now, of course, the economic times have been really hard. And when times are hard, brands get bust. And people move from the brands which they like to cheaper brands and then to budget brands. And we've seen this happening on a very large scale in different parts of Europe. And the budget brands have grown. At the same time, some of the super brands have grown. The straight. There are some people who have become even more wealthy, while others have been squeezed and the middle has really suffered. And uh, you can expect, at the same time, brands within brands inside these superstores. So, uh, even more. So you have one superstore, which now, uh, this chain may be taking uh, maybe 5% of all retail sales in the whole of Bulgaria. But inside this store, we're now seeing uh, sub-brands within the, the uh, big brands that uh, may be little, or it might be a Carrefour, or it might be uh, one of your own uh, brands here. But uh, this is uh, Tesco, and this is the organic sub-brand. This is Tesco finest uh, brand. This is the premium brand inside Tesco as a superstore. And you will find inside Tesco 10 or 12 or 15 sub brands. Each of them has their own coloring, their own identity, their own logo, but they are all Tesco. And connected with this is the, uh, the watching the customer, literally with a camera, watching where their eyes move, how they walk around the store, where they stop, what pulls their eye this way or that. Where do we put the bargain? Where do you put the bread? And where does the fish go? The location of the fish in the store is really important. It has to be in exactly the right place in the customer journey. Which is why all the big chains put their fruit and vegetables at the beginning. They put their big smells, the fresh bread, uh, very close to the beginning. They put their big wine and uh, alcohol at the end because they know how you think, how you move. And this data creates profit for retailers. And it's exactly the same in a huge multi-store like Technopolis. The customer journey can also be mapped. We're also going to see growth of self-service, where uh, I know there have been experiments already here, but uh, uh, where the customer is invited to check themselves out. And uh, this uh, saves money, uh, it uh, can create some security issues, it, it can mean that you lose some product, it has to be worked. Well, I said that we've had a move from uh, the middle bra uh, quality brands to uh, less expensive and then to budget. At the same time, the world has never seen so many sales of absolute top level premium products. Really expensive things. And these, uh, this is because of the growth in the gap between the very wealthiest in every country and the very poorest. And shops that provide for this premium experience are doing very well.